your KNOE 8 News hour by hour forecast. Well, Lucy, it was very cold when I came into work this morning, and I know, you know, we're still going to be cold tonight, but a little bit warmer than we were early this morning. Yes, this morning was definitely the coldest we felt in a while. Temperatures were in those mid 40 or mid 20s, honestly, probably when you left, Jessica. It was yes. pretty chilly when I left, too. Around 8, we were still sitting in the 30s. If you're taking a live look at the Creed and Creed Tower Cam over Monroe at the moment, it looks chilly, I guess you could say, out there. We got clear skies with a few upper level clouds, some nice trees out there, but temperatures are going to be a little bit warmer today than what we were feeling yesterday. We really only warmed into those mid 40s yesterday. Today, we're expected to be about 10 degrees warmer, 55 expected for our overall high. Plenty of sunshine though as we head throughout the day and temperatures honestly kind of near our average for this time of year as we head into this afternoon. That is and thanks, thanks in part a lot to this high pressure system that we saw towards our north yesterday making its way off towards the east. Winds around high pressure move in a clockwise direction and where it's situated in respect to us means winds out of the south today, pulling in the warmer air from the Gulf, also bringing in a little bit more moisture, which is why we're going to see cloud cover increase as we head towards tomorrow. Those winds are going to be pretty breezy at times, gusting out of the south up to 20 miles per hour today. So a breezy day, but at least it's going to be a little bit of a warmer breeze. As we head towards tomorrow morning, we're going to see some cloud cover try to build its way in. And then by the time we head towards tomorrow afternoon, just a few sprinkles trying to work their way into our skies. We are looking at increasing rain chances as we head overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning. So you might want to grab the umbrella as you head out the door on Thursday because it's going to be rather chilly as well as rather rainy. So umbrellas are going to be needed later this week. And you want to put them away as we head towards Friday, expecting to see some sunshine by then. But then this weekend, rain chances build back in as a cold front approaches the region. And these rounds of cold fronts are what's going to be causing a bit of our temperature roller coaster as we head towards this week. Temperatures into the 90s tomorrow, or 60s, excuse me, tomorrow, back into the 50s and then the 40s as we head towards Friday and then warming up again towards the weekend with temperatures back in those mid-60s. It's so definitely an up and down in terms of rain chances, but also in terms of temperatures. So today is the start, a bit of that warming trend, temperatures in the mid-50s. Overnight temperatures will fall yet again back into the 30s. We don't have a lot of cloud cover tonight, so we don't have anything really keeping in the heat and trapping it in. So that's why we're going to be a little bit on the cooler side, 39 for overnight low. Then tomorrow, warming into the 60s, stay partly sunny throughout much of the day. Those rain chances really going to be building in the later part of the evening, mainly after dinner time. And then as the rest of the week continues, looking at rain chances lingering into Thursday morning, temperatures gradually falling behind that cold front as we see on Thursday into the 40s, but sunny on Friday. And then the weekend, we see temperatures warm back towards 70 degrees on Sunday, but then a cold front brings all that rain and knocks us right back into the 50s for Monday. If 